Hello! It is day five of our back-to-back -back on the Carnival Legend. We are, not anymore, but we were in St. John, New Brunswick today. Did I say that correctly? New Brunswick? I think so. Yes. So, we had a fabulous day, but we forgot to open this vlog. So we're opening it now as we're about to go to bed because it's been a very long day. Mm -hmm. Today was amazing. Right here on the side of the screens, he's checking to make sure we said it correctly. On the side of the screen, I am putting up New Brunswick. New Brunswick. There is an S, like. Unlike New Bronze. Bronfels, good grief. New anyway. Bronfels. Oh my goodness. New Brunswick. New so, Brunswick. Yes. There yes. we go. This so, one has an S, Bronfels. This one has an S. <laughs> Anyway, so I'm putting everything along the screen here, including the information about our excursion and everything that we have done today, are doing today. We're going to start off in the port. We did a live in the port today, and then we're going to kind of walk around a little bit. This vlog, probably like yesterday's and like the next one, is going to be a little long. We did a lot today, and there's a lot to share with you and a lot to show you. And then we ended the evening with a show after dinner. We had a delay in port. We had all sorts of things today. So this vlog may be a little long. But it was an amazing day. It was fantastic. It, this cruise has been amazing. So you're going to have to definitely take this cruise. And we are definitely going to have to go again. Yes. For sure. So thank you so much for joining us. Don't forget to subscribe. And by the way, I'm Favor, and this is my husband, Robert. So thank you so much for joining us today. Now, let's get this beautiful, wonderful, sunshiny, cold, and warm day started. Look at the fog. That is so awesome. It is so cold. I don't know the exact temperature but I am freezing. It's colder here than it was yesterday morning. Um, we're supposed to hit 71 today. We will see. We will see. I find it hard to believe that it will warm up from this. <laughs> anyway, I just think it's so beautiful. I love seeing the fog over the water like that. It's so gorgeous. But then you look this direction. Beautiful, clear gorgeous sunshine. I did catch a little bit of the sunrise this morning. Just a little bit from inside. I was too cold to go outside on the upper decks. Wow, I love this port. Look at that. You see the St. John sign over there in the distance? There's a roadway. And then some foggy. And then a port. Once the fog burns off, we'll be able to see a little bit more. Let me zoom you out. There you go. Oh, I'm so excited to be here. It is quite chilly. It is 49, 50 degrees right now, which is very chilly for this Texas girl. I know some of you think that's downright balmy, but you know, for me, from Texas, it's cold. <laughs> Good morning, there it is. No more fog, it's all gone. Oh, it's such a pretty view. I love highways, I love infrastructure architecture. I love seeing all of that. Um, you know, some people may say that's not a great view. For me, that's an interesting, great view. I love to see it. Right yeah, the water is right here. You can see life here in St. John, you know, people who live here and are moving around throughout their, about their day. I just, I love it. I love seeing that. We're just down here for our live, but I wanted to show you real quick. Look at all these shops. Down there is a crew container uh, lounge. That is so cool. There's some really cool shops in here. There's one around the corner that has some tapestries and stuff that's absolutely gorgeous that I will be coming back. I need to get some cash. We spent all our cash, but oh my goodness. This is really cool. Very contemporary, very unique. I just, I really like this. So I can't wait to get out and explore this beautiful city. I'm so excited to be here. Okay, we did a little shopping. And if you want to see what I picked up, that will be in the sneak peek, which I will link right up here. So we are now, we have, it's 9.54. You guys, a little tip. Let me just tell you, I, I'm gonna show you because I have it tucked in under here. You see this right here? That is a, did I show it? I can't, yeah, there it is. That is an inexpensive off Amazon. You can get them at Walmart, wherever you want. Digital watch. Uh, analog watch is fine too. You just want something that is on ship's time because a lot of times your watch, your Apple watch, your Apple phone, or whatever phone you're using often will 
change time according to where you are. Mine, I didn't even connect. I was in airplane mode and it changed time. So this keeps you on ship's time, which is the important time, ship's time all the time. So you always know what time it is on your ship and when you need to be back on board, etc., etc. What time is it? Ship's it time. It is ship's time. Let me dig this out. It is 9.54 ship's time. And we have to be back all on board today is 3.30. <laughs> but we have to be back over here by noon, which for favor means 11.30 at the latest, for our excursion, which starts at 12 which meaning time is at 12 to the Bay of Fundy. So, but we wanted to kind of take a minute to come and walk through, to kind of walk up and down this street a little bit, take a peek around, see what we could see before our excursion. And I haven't decided if this is gonna be in the regular vlog series or the sneak peek because the sneak peeks are always longer and that's typically where we do our shopping. Whereas the cruise vlogs, I typically like to get you in, get you out, you know, go on the excursion, see the ship, you know, give you the information, whereas we explore a little bit more the shopping and, yeah, nice. You know, we do a little more in the sneak peek because it's expected to be longer. So, look at those buildings. <gasps> I'm gonna have to take 9,000 pictures, y'all. I, I don't know if I said it 800 times enough, but, I love the architecture, the infrastructure, the the look, this look. I love it. I absolutely love it. And each Oh no, thank you. Each city that we have been to on this cruise has had its own unique style and I've absolutely good morning. I have absolutely loved it. Y'all, these vlogs are gonna be so long. Where's Callie's pub? Oh I see it, yeah. Look, I just see that view right there. And look, I'm not gonna get run over because I'm not in the street. All right, this is the St. Andrew's Society Bicentennial Green in memory of Wallace P. McMurray. Wow, so interesting. Wish there was a little more information. Perhaps one of you knows and, oh, here's a little placard. All right, we'll come look at that. Wow. Looks like it's in the process of restoration, maybe. All right, just press pause on your screen to read. Uh-oh, it's in French. Oh, there's English, okay. Look at the, the Volkswagen. Farfenugen. Police department. Oh, that's so cool. Let's get a picture. Look at this street, you guys. Doesn't that just say welcome? Come walk down me. Come explore me. So warm and inviting. Oh my goodness, I need 9,000 pictures. All right, let's get some coffee. Okay. Thank you. Another baby, oh my goodness. May I? Good morning, precious. Hi. This is Ivy. Ivy, you are beautiful. Look at her paws. Oh my goodness, she's beautiful. Oh. Oh, coffee. Oh, what are these? Butter rum fudge coffee. Yes, oh, look at the treats. We might need a second backpack. Will this work in a K-cup? Cookies and cream, Canadian maple. Do they have like a... Cherry oh, cups. Are they? I'm gonna get a Canadian maple because you gotta get a Canadian maple when you're in Canada. All right, let's see, hold on, hold on. All right, coffee acquired. Robert got an Italian soda. So exciting. This has been a great morning. We've only been here like 15 minutes. <laughs> There's dogs and coffee. It's a good day already. Yeah, I'm gonna get that shot right there. I think we need to cross, and, oh, I'll be too short then. They actually have gluten-free here and Robert really wanted to try it. Vito's Pizza. But unfortunately, we just don't have the time. It is, I mean, there is takeout, but we don't have the time before our excursion. But that's awesome. All right, we are headed back down this street. 
and then we're gonna take a left and head back to the cruise terminal for our excursion. Oh, that's Sweetheart. Yellow. I hope I'm up double. Oh, oh, okay. Right now they're wandering around. Yes, all oh, ear scratches. Oh, yeah, goodness. Have to watch the here. You can go. All right, here we are in the terminal. There's the exit to the outside of the port. And we're going to meet for our excursion here. And the buses are straight through there. There are elevators and escalators and stairs. So all choices you can make. So I am so excited. We are having such a great day. The call time was 12 o'clock. And then we were here 15 minutes early. And we just made the last call to get on the excursion so i don't know how that happens so maybe there's a cross communication in times i don't know there's our ride so we're gonna go hop on hopefully we've got two seats together all righty here we go the buildings of the historic buildings of downtown St. John already. We're out now into the forested area. And the tide is out. There's your mud flats. Yep, just take a look at that harbor and there's your lobster traps on the right. They're modern day lobster traps. The beautiful harbor. And that's a, a, our brand new covered bridge this year so they just opened it up a couple weeks ago wow. so that replaced the original so here we are at the st martin's harbor so the tide is out so as we go through the, the covered bridge i want you to think of it as the kissing bridge so at night time you had to drive very slowly with your horse and buggy through here. We called it the kissing bridge because at night when it was dark you could actually maybe sneak a kiss from your sweetheart if you were lucky enough. So we're very happy to see this open to the public and to our tourists. So this is a double lane. The original was only a single lane. So again, there's a beautiful view of the the tide is out. There's your your uh, lobster boats safely on the port on the uh, the ocean floor, and in six hours that will be floating high, 32, 36 feet higher than it is right now. I would love to see high tide too. So beautiful, spectacular here. views. Now we're gonna go explore the caves of Saint Martin. Very excited about this. <laughs> Uh, I'm sorry we were on the wrong side of the bus. We are always on the wrong side of the bus, but I'll see what I've done in editing. You've seen it now already. It is chilly out here. I should have kept my jacket. Wow. Ready? Yeah, we're gonna go over there. But we gotta walk kind of fast because uh, we don't have much time here. So we are at low tide. This is amazing. Oh my goodness. It's very rocky and slippery so you need to have the appropriate footwear on sneakers not water shoes not water sneakers actual sneakers and if you don't have uh, stability if you have difficulty you can see this is difficult this is not easy wet. yeah it's wet mushy mucky so this is amazing all right, Robert and I need to get some pictures and then uh, I'll be right back. Hold on. This is so beautiful.
Oh, we would love to be here and watch the tide come in and out. What an amazing thing that would be to see. It's amazing. Look at this. This is where it goes. Look, see? I, I mean, this is amazing. I hadn't taken the time to turn around and really see back the other direction. All right, cleared the rocks out of the shoe. <laughs> oh my goodness. I would imagine that water is quite cold. You think, Robert? What? You think the water is really cold? No, it's warm. It's, it's Caribbean. It's Caribbean, <laughs> considering I'm cold in the Caribbean. You know, it's actually, it's cool, but it's not like, it's not as cold as I expected it to be. Right, like in Alaska, the water is quite cold. So let's come to the water's edge. Up here. There's snails? Yeah, I don't see any over here. I have to come. Where the creek meets. Right here. This is absolutely stunning. I'm gonna go on the other side. Hold on. Thank you. That's a wet shoe. I would have slipped. It's because the rock moved. That's, it's yeah, not. So it, it was, was the, rock, the rock, rock moved. Fault. It's the rock's fault. Come out here with your rain boots and really go exploring. This is amazing. It's just amazing. This would be kind of thing to run a car and just. Be here work, all day. Eight hours. Yeah. And you can do what you want to do. Right. Come out here. Robert was saying rent a car. Come out here and really look. You could watch the tide go out and come in. That would be amazing. You could actually be on the correct side of the vehicle and get uh, some great pictures of the uh, <laughs> Bay of Fundy. This is so beautiful. I wish we could really go deep. Oh, we can. Oh, no, you can't go in the caves. So I'm sure at one point you could, because mm -hmm. like pictures show people walking through them, but oh my goodness, this is so beautiful. I'm going to head back onto the bus and dry out Robert's shoe, and then we're going to head over to the next stop, which is in the town of St. Martin, where, where there's a little shopping and uh, stores and stuff like that. So um, I'm excited about that. Hey, we've got some Canadian dollars to spend. So my thing was we gave, we know nothing about Canadian money, obviously, but we gave the guy a 10 and the cost was like, I don't know, two something. And they gave me back all coins. <laughs> so I was like, hmm, I have no idea. So now I've got to Google the money and the coins and the value in the exchange rate and all of that so I can understand because I just wasn't prepared for that. You know, when you go to Mexico or Caribbean ports, they typically have dollars, American dollars. So, um, not that I mind. I love having the Canadian money. I love having it because we take it home. The kids love to have it. It's something we always bring back money from any ports of call. So, Anyway, we, exchange, right? <laughs> we make a profit for this with the kids. We're just kidding. And over here on the other side, see, we're back over here. It's a waterfall into the creek. So beautiful, River Creek. Oh, so pretty. And then there's a little coffee shop next door to the yellow building. So we're only going to have 10 minutes. So Rick, maybe we'll just...
just stop here so that if they want to take a quick picture of the very, very quickly, you can just take a little picture here of the wishing bridge, kissing bridge. We'll wish for luck. And there's the other cover bridge on our right hand side. It's the older one. So hug and kiss your loved ones. There you go. Going across the aisle. Okay. Unfortunately, we're not going to have time to get off the bus and do any kind of shopping. There were some late people coming back, and so we missed our opportunity to shop at the next stop. But uh, they got 10 minutes. So basically, by the time everybody gets off the bus, which takes five or six minutes, it's time to go. So it's kind of disappointing, but we will have to come back. So just keep that in mind tour. Um, thankfully I got in the little shop down there and uh, but up here no luck. So this is Vaughn Creek going underneath the bridge. That is so cool. One last look at the harbor on our left side on the driver's side. So we still get the tide out quite far. So um, it was a remarkable day, great timing for the, for the ocean, great weather for taking pictures. So I'm really happy for you guys that you got to see this. We are back in the port. It is currently 321. All on board is 330. I don't think I've ever been this late, but we were on a carnival excursion, so it's fine. Um, we have not eaten today, so we are going to make our way up to Guy's Burger and just grab some french fries just something quick to get us through until dinner so um yeah today was a good day Did you have a good day i had a great day yeah it was beautiful scenery lots to see needed more time this could have been one of those excursions that was like six hours to allow more time to you know or four or five hours so you notice the water level we're at low tide she mentioned that it, that's so interesting. Look at the edges of the, the bulkhead. Look at the sides of the water. That's incredible. That's so cool. I'm so glad we got to see that. Now I wish we could have seen high tide at Bay of Fundy, but that's okay. All right, we got some guys' fries, having a snack. Gonna relax for a few minutes and then get ready for dinner. Once again, Stay at 4 p.m. right on time. While starting uh, the engines, we experience one small technical issue that is uh, delaying our departure. Chief Engineer is still are working to fix the issue, and as soon as we have all engines running, we will depart and make our way to Halifax. For the moment, we do not expect any delays on our arrival tomorrow in Halifax, but once we depart, I will give you an update uh, for tomorrow arrival. But at the moment, as I said, we do not expect any delays in our arrival tomorrow in Halifax. As you know, safety uh, of uh, guests and crews is my first priority, so we make sure that we live uh, safe and sound uh, once we depart San John. Please put your hands together and welcome to the stage, Ron Mitchell! Hello, hello, hello. Yes, I am Ron Mitchell. Yes, and we're here to celebrate the music of Motown Records. Give it up for Motown.
And here we are, right where we started this vlog, because we just did that two seconds ago. <laughs> so, thank you so much for joining us today. I'm sure this has been a very long vlog. I don't know, I haven't edited it, it but I'm sure it has been a long vlog because we did a lot today. It was an awesome day. It really was very, very awesome. I'll come back here again. Mm, oh, for sure. So thank you all so much for joining us in the live. Thank you so much for all the tidbits and tips and suggestions that everybody has been giving us along the way. It's been really nice. So thank you very much. Thank you for joining us. Please subscribe before you go. Don't forget to give this video up a, th video a thumbs up. We're tired. And we will see you in the next one in Halifax, Nova Scotia. I'm so yeah. excited. Oh my goodness. All right, we'll see you in the next one. Good night. Good night.